The Tokugawa army succeeding in thwarting Shingen's march to the capital, thanks to the efforts of Hanzo and other brave officers. Several years later, when Ieyasu was visiting the city of Sakai, he received news that Nobunaga was betrayed and killed by his vassal Mitsuhide, and the latter was now looking to eliminate Ieyasu as well. Ieyasu now had to take the treacherous passage to Iga in order to return to his home base in Mikawa. Alright, so here's the next stage, crossing Iga, and as you can tell it's a field stage. So all we have to do is make sure Ieyasu reaches the escape point, Nagunora. If he falls, if I die, or if the time runs out, we lose. So anyways, the equipment, the weapon, as you already know, we have the tier 3 weapon, so the uh, Kubunagi. So I'm going to equip that, even though I really want to use the Ikigama still. I'll find a better weapon with a element of some sort. So anyways, we got that. The items, I'm going to leave it as is, so we're good there. The bodyguards are the same. Now the unit info for the Tokugawa army. You have Ieyasu Tokugawa, Hanzo Hattori, which is me, Yasumasa Sakakibara, Tarakatsu Honda, uh, Sugu Sakai, and Baisetsu Anayama. For the Akechi army, you have, besides Mitsuhide, who will appear later, you have Goimani Shikawa, Magoichi Saika, Hidemitsu Akechi, Toshimitsu Saito, Shigetomo Akechi, and Nobuharu Suda. Alright, let's do it. This should be far enough. Mitsuhide could never catch up to us now. able to bring me the head of Ieyasu, then the treasure is all yours. Yeah! I have to return to Mikawa immediately, but I am unfamiliar with this region. I will need a guide. Alright, Shigetomo first. So here's the first mission. You have to secure an escape route. Uh, I'll let you know right now that when it comes to finding the escape route, it's pretty much the same exact one, which will be on the top left corner there. So make sure you head in that direction before you uh, you go in the wrong direction. So, anyways, Shigetomo is down. Now we'll go and save uh, we shall not be far Baisetsu. Forward. But um, you might want to head, or I should say. I come forth. Once you head in a certain direction, Ieyasu will start to follow you. So, make sure you don't go too close to the other two uh, routes. Otherwise, you will fuck up the uh, mission. And, of course, he hits me with a fucking true Musu attack. And he got fucking health, but not that that matter because he's down now. Yeah, you gotta watch out. Even non-playables, or I should say generic characters, will have true Musu attacks. Alright, so now we're gonna go up. We'll secure the gate. Now we go for uh, Toshimitsu. Alright, Toshimitsu is down. We shall not be far behind. Forward. Now those two gates are opened, but I gotta head for the left gate. Try 
try to be quick because over the course of time, we're going to be rescuing, uh, rescuing the uh, allies. Anyways, now Ieyasu is heading over this way. And if you were to get anywhere near closer to the other uh, possible routes, he'll head in that direction too. So just be careful that you don't do that because this will be the right way each and every time you play the stage. So keep that in mind. And I will secure this gate as well. If you go for the other two gate or other two uh, routes, it will lead to a dead end. And uh, there's no real way for you to really do anything about that. And you'll fuck up the mission. You still have to come up this way. And uh, still go through all the nonsense. But for the fact that I'm already here, it'll make things a little bit easier for me. And I mean, granted, you still will be able to secure the gate and what have you, but you're, well, when I checked the one down at the bottom, it pretty much led me to a dead end. And I would have to go in the completely opposite direction. Anyways, now I'm going to go and secure this gate. Somebody else should be appearing really soon. I'll go and secure the other gate since I can. And then we'll uh, head back. I know people will be showing up soon. He went fucking flying. Uh oh. We are trapped. Yeah, so now bandits will appear. I think you have to defeat a particular bandit, so that will be easy. And as you can tell, it's pretty damn easy to pull off. But now, I still need to defeat the re uh, remaining uh, troops inside because they're still attacking um, Ieyasu. So. So far, so good. I'll definitely hang on to that. And... I think that's everybody. Now we'll head back up, and we'll fight Magoichi, Saika. And we still have Goemon to deal with too. So, here's the mission of, we have to allow Yasumasa to uh, join up with Ieyasu. So pretty much we have to make sure is that, oh shit, you know what, let me make sure we defeat Magoichi first. Come, 
vanish into darkness. Alright, so we'll go for Magoichi. This is the first time we'll be fighting Magoichi. Well, we'll be fighting him later on, obviously, down the road. But this is the first time we haven't seen him in some way, shape, or form. He likes using that rifle of his, and... Too many women. So little time. Two things. Uh, he's actually down for the count. And for anyone that knows Samurai Warriors pretty well, he's a bit of a ladies' man, so to speak. But, um, anyways. So, he's actually down for the count, which I'm actually surprised. I wouldn't think anyone would actually die this, well, I mean, to an extent, I could see it, but, eh. Anyways, he's down for the count. We don't have to worry about him throughout the rest of the uh, story mode. Well, Hanzo story mode specifically. But uh, anyways, now we'll go and take out the troops over here. A splendid show of force. And I think I should stay close to Ieyasu because it seems... Like, if I'm far away, ambush units will appear. Or if I'm too far away. But, uh, anyways. Yeah, Yasu is right over here, so I might as well. Uh, yeah, let's watch out for the fucking musket fucks. And in the meantime, we can still win. we'll take out the reserve captain that way. We don't have to worry about, uh, we don't have to worry about the troops coming out of that gate. So in the meantime, I'll go and defeat Noble Haru. Do not falter. We can still win. Because we're gonna have another mission where we're gonna have to. Uh, oh, there goes Goemon. What are they after? Will we be able to stop them? All right, let's take out the task force. They're gonna probably head in a certain direction, and if they reach their destination. I played this game, well, this stage numerous times, and I had not let that thing happen. So, let's not find out, unless I really have to. Anyways, he's down. I'm going to suspect a fire attack in some way, shape, or form. Now, go for Noble Haru. Tadatsugu! I shall be there shortly. Alright, thank god that was not a true Musu attack. Difficult now we'll go for going money, Shikawa. Target eliminated. Let us see the momentum here. And I think Mr. Hide showed up. So now, if we defeat Mitsuhide, we win. But we don't have to. That's optional. You can pick either or. And, uh, I'm gonna try to have Ieyasu actually retreat. And of course, they secure a fucking stronghold. Well, here's Goemon. First time we'll be running into him. Basically, Goemon is a thief. He is obsessed with finding treasure. And, uh, he's down. And 
and one of the weapons that he does use that will stick out like a sore thumb is that fucking cannon on the back of his back. And uh, that cannon will be useful down the road when we actually unlock Goemon. Right now, we're just going to continue on. Here's Mitsuhide. I really want to try to get Ieyasu to physically retreat. So I'll try to stall off Mitsuhide as best as I can to my capabilities. Um, he needs to get off that fucking horse. He really needs to get off that fucking horse. He really needs to get off that fucking horse. Alright, so he also joined up with Tarasugu. And now he'll head for the escape point. Which is exactly what I'm going to be doing. I mean, I really don't have to. I can defeat Mitsuhide, but as you can tell with the objectives, once again, either we defeat Mitsuhide or we allow Ieyasu to retreat. So. My intention is to have Ieyasu retreat. Since I technically dismounted him, he won't. And that's something that I noticed that... I'm not saying if that was a, if it's a bug or just something that they did intentionally. But um, it is a nice little touch, whether it's a mistake or not. Once you dis dismount somebody, when you go back to them, they will stay dismounted. Oh, now we have to fulfill this objective. So we gotta make sure every single this ally officer retreats. Into my memory forever. And I think we have almost everybody, except for uh, Baisetsu, who will be shown, uh, who will be over here momentarily. And we're good. Right. That's also myself as well. I have to make sure I'm over here too. And that's a win. Alright. I think we actually got every mission fulfilled. Uh, well, that's in our pathway. So... Anyways, that took us 14 minutes and 21 seconds, not that bad. Uh, we only left Mitsuhide alive, and we kept everybody alive, even though it does show that Yasumasa, Tadakatsu, Tadasugu, and Baisetsu are all technically out of the stage, but they're more so technically retreated due to the actual objective that we had to fulfill. So, they weren't killed off like the others or they weren't defeated and retreated, depending on the situation. Anyways, moving on. Now, let's see what we got here. Uh, nothing. Discard. Uh, just that. Great. Alright, so now we got a new item, the Vixen Tail. If you're going to compare it to Dynasty Warriors, it's pretty much your elixir. So we have that plus one. It's actually one of the rarer items that, well, from what I, from what I have seen, I think the Vixen Tail is actually one of the few rarer items, like the Wind Scroll in Dynasty Warriors Three, also the Elixir in Dynasty Warriors Three. So it kind of makes a little sense. But here, I know for a fact that the Vixen Tail is one of the rarer uh, stat items in the game. And uh, the Demon Staff is at plus two. Well, we got a Demon Staff at plus two, but there's really... I have something better than that. That's what I'm going to say. Anyways, here's our Bodyguard experience. Here's our experience points. So, we're good there. 
uh, time. I could have done a little faster and Musu KOs, it could be a lot worse. So, anyways, let's see how many. Well, we already maxed out the jump and now we maxed out our agility. So, I don't know if I have said this, but I will say it now. Uh, when it comes to Hanzo, his speed, jump, and agility all at 195. And that's pretty much the second highest in the game. The highest and max is 200, and that's Kunoichi. But we'll get to her later. Anyways, so... Hopefully... Uh, Frenzy, Deadlock, better experience and ratings. Oh, yeah, definitely hitting focus. Mm. I'll hit it twice. And, uh, yeah, I'm good. So that's that. We will save. And there you have it. You have been watching my gaming adventures featuring Samurai Warriors. And I'll see you in the next part where we will go and continue on with Hanzo's story. And the next stage will be, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, Oweda Infiltration. And, uh... This is pretty much the uh, quote unquote branch off stage. Like, Shingen's is uh, the siege of Azuchi, and Yukimura's is the battle of Mika Takahara. Well, Hanzo also have a, well, he does have a branch off stage, if you want to call it that. But we will talk about that in the next part. So, with that being said, peace out.